All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing you to the two fighters. We fight six by three minute rounds. We fight here at the middle weight limit. Introducing to you first, standing across in the blue corner. He weighed in officially 72.4 kilos. Trained out of the Marksman's gym, this is John Japs Aki. And uh, his opponent standing across in the red corner. He weighed in officially 72 kilos neat. From the NTG Fight and uh, Fitness Gym, give it up, Mansfield. This is Jims Gilly. Ah, uh, yes, the moment we've all been waiting for Gillies versus Aki, both with chins of steel, Chris McCullen. You know, it, they also both possess explosive knockout power. Anything could happen here. Yeah, that's right. And Dim's got a good work rate, so, uh, yeah, this should be a real interesting one. Aki, the uh, seasoned campaigner, he rarely goes down. He doesn't have the best record, but he goes the distance time and time again. Up against Gillies, who's toyed with a bit of mixed martial arts, a bit of boxing, and Gillies. That both these men have been in some real wars, and uh, well, this can only lead to one thing, and that will be an exciting fight where something has to give, give one way or another. Yeah, we've got another tricky fight uh, in stalls here in front of us, and Gillies already switched stance a couple of times, and. Aki's got a good left jab on him. Sneaky little right uppercut. Plenty of movement from Gillies. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. He's looking for that left hook. Oh, but he's got to watch the one coming back from Aki. Good body shot from Dimps. Well, Aki being forced to fight at a tempo he's not used to here early in the first. Yeah, it's like I said, um, Gilly's got a real good work rate and he needs to use that here. Nice body shot. Oh, and he's put him down. There's the left hook to the body, left hook to the head. Dimps will be all over it. Back down to the body he goes. John Aki out of Marksman Jim Dimps Gillies out of NTG Fight and Fitness, trained by Steve Wahanko. Good head movement there from Dimps Gillies. Oh, referee Tony Ketterwell warning Aki have a little bit of a slap. Yeah. Oh, nice head movement, good defensive skills there from. Gillies. Oh, oh, Aki turning his back there, but comes back with the counter on the right. Now Gillies, he was eyeing off that uppercut there momentarily. Showing some good skills at times, Gillies. He just doesn't stop Dimps Gillies. Look, he's either heads moving, he's either punching, lands a beautiful right hand on Aki, slipping shots in and out. Aki a little bit susceptible defensively when he gets down low, Chris. Yeah, he just opens himself up a little bit. You watch when he drops down. The hands go down with him, leaves himself a little bit open. When he stays up like that, the hands are usually fairly high. There it is there. Left hand's low. Gillies to the body. Final seconds in the first. Oh. That concludes the first, of course, Dilly's getting the knockdown and a strong start from the man from NTG Fight and Fitness as we have a look at the highlights from round one. Yeah, it was all Dim Skillies. He'll get a 10-8 round there with the knockdown. It was a beautiful little left rip. Here it is here. Then a left hook. Just caught John Aki out. But a uh, nice little combination from Gillies. Showed some good skills, real good work rate. He needs to keep that up. Try and get John Aki out of there early. Four Elements Promotions, four repeat are on the scene. Bring to you Boxing Bazaar tonight. And a shout out to our supporters, 
Kings footlong concrete genie concrete scanning punish fight gear Gumdale demolition and of course Chris McCullen's second home supplement mart you love the place Chris yeah supplement mart I'm gonna get down there tomorrow make sure they look after me good crew this old body needs something good jab from Dim Skillies is he on the attack the way he finished round one Good head movement from Gillies. Have a look at Aki go. He's throwing the kitchen sink at Gillies at the moment. Gillies can't get close enough. Well, he threw about 20 and only one landed. Good defensive skills from Gillies, but great work from John Aki. And this is a much quicker fight to what John Aki is used to. Yeah, good work from Gillies. Digs one upstairs. Oh, oh there huge we go. left from John Aki, the Papua New Guinean. As the barrage continues, now it's Gilly's turn. He just needs to turn those knuckles a little bit, Aki. He's just uh, sort of slapping that in. Got good power on it, but if he turns those knuckles, he'll double the power. Well, he's been throwing so many punches. You have to wonder whether Gillies will be able to seize an opportunity here if Aki tires. I reckon that's what, what Gillies is looking for. He's relentless, Gillies. He, he won't stop. We had uh, Gillies come down and spy Anthony Mundine when he was getting ready for Michael Zarafa just for that work rate. Now, uh, he held himself uh, very good, big Gillies. Someone's lost the mouth guard on. Dimps, yep, straight in the gob. The old magic water trick there from Stephen Wahenko. We're back underway. Aki with those no-look haymakers as now Gillies moves. G got out of harm's way there. Gillies is now. He's trying to get Aki on the ropes, but Aki will just not comply. He hey. will not go away, the Papua New Guinea. He's done well, Aki. Dimps just will not stop. He's like an energizer battery. Oh, beautiful shot. See, he might have hurt John Aki there. No, Aki comes back. Oh, good body shot. Those shots that you miss as Aki's loading up, they'll take a lot of energy out of him. He's biting down on the mouth guard. And then Dimps just comes firing back. That's just going to sap the energy out of Aki. Oh, nice right hook from Aki. Nice footwork from uh, Dimps Gillies. Little combination punch and eats a good right hand. What a fight this is turning into. Relentless from both soldiers out there right now. Final seconds here in this round. Aki just won't go away. Big right Ooh. from Aki as oh, Gillies oh, follows oh. a couple after the bell. It's all happening. 4 EP have done it again. Boxing Bazaar. Gillies versus Aki. Gillies going down now to round number three. Round two highlights with Chris McCullough. Let's have a look at it. It was action-packed. Dimps Gillies. Relentless with the work rate. Look at this, the defensive skills there. But Aki did find a home there with that right hand late in the first round. Can't complain about that round. Here it is here. You'll see that right hand get through. From Aki there. So back underway here in the third. Little bit of ice in the corner. One of the trainers is trying to get out of the way. He, gee, they've made a meal of it in Aki's corner. What is oh. that going on there? As Gilly starts to open up here. Early exchanges in the third round. He's gone. Oh, I thought he was gone there. Beautiful right hook then left hook from Gillies. And he's in some real trouble here now. Is John Aki. He's slapping his shots through now. 
Nice work from Gillies. He didn't let Aki want to grab hold there. Nice combination upstairs, downstairs from Gillies. Good display. It's a good right hand though from John Aki. Aki just warned for his uh, head a little low there from Tony Kettlewell. Oh, good defence. Aki just having moments where his guard is down. Kent Gillies capitalised. Huge uppercut there from Aki misses. It's Gillies now. Trying to work Aki back on those ropes. They go back towards the ropes now as Gillies trying to up the tempo and maintain that speed and that pace. Yeah, Gillies needs to dig that body a little bit more. He's, doing, he's put some good body shots in and you can see Aki doesn't overly like it. It's another one upstairs. Good body shot for Tim Gillies as John Aki tries to go downstairs. Swings him left, right. Gillies slip under. He's slipping well, Gillies, isn't he? He's just non-stop. Good movement, good head movement. What about the uppercut there, Gillies? Oh. <laughs> Oh, huge left from Gillies and putting on a bit of a show now, Gillies. As a little bit of showmanship from Dimps, yes. Yep. Nice combinations from Gillies. He's done well, John Aki, to still be here. He's taken some big shots. He's had a pretty good work rate himself. Oh, he's big shots there from Tim Skillies. He might be hurt now, John Aki. Ah, he's fine. <laughs> hurt, John Aki? I don't know if that's possible, Chris. No, I was surprised when he went down the first round. He's taken a lot bigger shots there in round number three. Might have just been a little cold. As we have a look at some of the action from round number three. Beautiful little right hook there in the southpaw stance from Dimps Gillies. There it is. Beautiful. There's the left hook in the southpaw stance. Now back to orthodox. Not much defense to finish the round there from John Aki. Kim Skilly's taken advantage of that. Round number four. Gillies in the black trunks with red trimmings, Aki black trunks, white trimmings. And it's Gillies continuing to pepper away here, trying to break through the Aki resistance. Gillies just an astonishing tempo. But Aki right where he wants him. Oh. Early exchanges in the fourth and Aki drops down. He's been winded. There's a little right hand on the side of the ear there. Gets the standing count. He was grimacing in pain when he went down, but he seems okay at the moment. Oh no, Tony Kettlewell's called it off. It's Gillies. all over. Tim Skilly's not happy with that. He wanted to finish in a big fashion. It's all over. Tim Skilly's gets a TKO. Aki unable to continue. And Gillies out of NTG Fight and Fitness. His career continues to flourish. He continues to chalk up the wins. He's a favourite son out Slacks Creek Way. Gillies as he marches on to another victory. Yeah, good victory from Gillies, really good. He's improved a lot too. 
good work rate and a good call from Tony Ketterwell. He could see that John Aki didn't have much in him. And uh, while we're on referees, another shout out to Adam Height, Australian's leading official. He's just not working tonight, but he's here in the venue. So good to have Adam Height here. Loves his boxing, yes. Loves his boxing. Uh, gee, you've your mates with all the officials, Chris. No yeah. wonder you were 12-1-1. One one. <laughs> yeah. I probably didn't win some of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, good guys. Now, we need now. the officials. We need the officials. Otherwise, we can't put shows on like this. Been a great night by Steve Wanko and the boys. Yeah, great, great job by, again, by 4EP, 4 Elements Promotions. Paul Lee McCauley, Nugget McNaught, Steve Wanko. The main event has been won by Tico out of Dibs Gillies, but... We still need to make it official as we go into the boxing ring yet again with our MC. Here he is for the last time tonight for our decision. It's Mr. James O'Shea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get our two fighters to center ring. We can make this one official. Yeah, great fight to wrap up. A wonderful card of action here tonight. So we'll get our two fighters to center ring. Put your hands together for both of our fighters here, ladies and gentlemen. Another great contest here. 40 seconds into the fourth round. Your referee, Tony Kettlewell, calls a halt to the contest. Your winner from the red corner, Dibs Gillies!